I'm really quite upset with myself, but I'm also very relieved that it wasn't worse, but I could even cry thinking about it. Don't cry. I know, I just feel bad because I was fully depressed and I knew I should have just like slowed down and like, I'm glad everything's okay, but like, it's okay. that was scary. How's this for a Sunday morning breakfast? I mean, big. Got a little guy sleeping. Got a little mm -hmm. smoked salmon, eggs, caviar, champagne. This is ridiculous. The most amazing mother I've ever met. I love Second you. Second only to my own mother. <laughs> and your mother, but the youngest, best mother I know. Thank you, babe. Thanks for making all this. This looks incredible. Guys, treat the moms out there. I got up a little earlier, came down, put this all together, thanks to our friends who sent caviar. This guy's about to enjoy his first little breakfast. Right? Yeah. Hey. I mean, I don't know what it's like in New York right now, but I usually tell parents, like, now's the time to, like, go out and, like, go have dinner and, like, pop them in the carrier, do whatever you're going to do. But, you know, pandemic time. All right, so we just talked to a sleep training coach from Stratford, which is amazing. Looks like he needs all the sleep training he can get because he can't even stay awake. He needs some awake training. <laughs> so he needs can we get an awake trainer? Does anyone know an awake trainer? We can get? Wake up. And nothing. Look at your matching outfit today with your Hello Kitty socks. Oh my god. Remember when we saw those at the hospital? Leave me alone with my Hello <laughs> Kitty socks. Okay, I'm gonna start cooking dinner. That's what I'm doing. Don't even try it, Marilyn. Marilyn, you're always trying to take my duties. Guys, Marilyn's our baby nurse. But I'm trying to do as much as I can because she's up all night, you know? You gonna wake him up? Yeah. Oh, he's up. <laughs> we are headed to the post office for our passport. Not our passport. Or, I'm sorry, our passport appointment for Preston. I'm a real U.S. citizen. And then he can get his Canadian passport. That's correct. Because he is dual. He's so cute and snuggly and cozy. Okay, so that was fast because <laughs> Brendan filled out the application in a blue pen and it needs to be a black pen. And we will make a new appointment for tomorrow. Preston's passport adventures continue adventures definitely continue all right everyone you know what day it is it's christmas morning we got a baby it's pretty much the best gift but people got him gifts as well so we're gonna open them for him Yay. aren't we hands up we're excited yeah <laughs> it's crazy that this time last year we were on the beach in australia having just like a us time yeah i think two years ago at this time, we were pregnant for the first time. It's true. It's gonna make me cry. Oh, don't cry, don't cry. You're not even crying, mom can't cry. It's a, it was a long road, but we did it. Tears of joy. All right, let's open some gifts for this guy. All right, well, this one was great. Preston, did you like it? I like yeah. it. I love it. Canada in colors. That's right. Santa was very thoughtful with this one, Preston. How cute. Teaching you about part of your heritage. Oh. The ABCs of Canada, Preston. Oh my gosh. You're getting all, look at. This is really cute. Anne Claire Petite, handmade products for kids. Preston, look at this gift. This is Aren't from, you excited? This is from your Pika. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? It's perfect. Oh my god. With love, Rochelle. Oh my gosh. So I literally just bought this for my goddaughter. <laughs> That's a lovey. That's a lovey. Oh my gosh, how cute are these? And so great. She donated to Every Mother Counts, which is an amazing organization that helps women give safe birth globally. Um, they do incredible work. Ew. This one gift is from my sister's dog, Bleeker. <sighs> so thoughtful of him. Come on. Oh. Look at that. 
Dear Preston, Merry Christmas. Can't wait for all the fun we're gonna have together. Lots of love, Clem. His future girlfriend slash god sister. How cute. Oh my gosh, it's, it plays a little song. You put him right to sleep. Great work, Clem. Action. Wow. Look at what Grandpa Akika got you. Oh my god. And Grandpa. This is cute. That is so cute. Jojo Maman, did bit. <laughs> that was it, Preston's first Christmas. Glad you enjoyed it, buddy. Good times, right? We love you. Merry Christmas, buddy. It's your first one. This is in my angle. <laughs>We're back in the city. We did a little early Christmas yesterday. Might look like it was Christmas day to you guys, but we've come back to the city to hang with Hannah's mom and sister and this guy. But our tree was out in Amagansett, so, and that's where all of our presents were. Yep. For Preston. So we did an early Christmas, and which he, was lovely, and he slept through the whole thing. Yeah, he opened all of his presents <laughs> as, to sleep. As you saw. Yeah, it's quiet New York. Day before Christmas, not even a mouse. <laughs> just rats. <laughs> um, we're just gonna get some coffee and some eggs and some bread. I'm trying to make a little spread for this guy. A little Christmas Eve breakfast spread. Anyway, so cute. That's what we're doing. Love it. This one loves Christmas. That was great. That was a little nutcracker in the wood. Yeah, improv. Okay, do we need any of the things that are in the pile? Or no. is it just my damn thing? Just your damn I need more of it, personally. That is Preston's first grocery store. Oh my god. Wow, Preston, did you like it? <laughs> uh huh. Everyone really liked him. He got some attention. Yeah. He's sleeping through all his first. <laughs> we are in our soon to be new home. And this is Preston's first time in it. And again, he's asleep. Ugh. You haven't been in in a minute, right? No, this has all been cleaned up. Mm -hmm. Wow. All the, all the plumbing's done. Crazy. Mm -hmm. well, Look at our fridge. Ugh. It's where it will be. So cool. <laughs> and have you seen the clean fireplace? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Wow. It's so good. Preston, this is the kitchen. Preston, this is where you're gonna become a sous chef. Yeah, that's when you're gonna learn how to chew your food and then throw it at us. It's gonna be exciting. So then this switch turns on this whole room. Boom. Wow. Mm -hmm. This is where we're gonna hang out and create memories. And the dining room will be over there. I can't believe it's gonna be so light in here when that know. is all glass. I know. Let's take him upstairs to the master where he's never been. Oh my God. Yeah. This is our radiant floor. Yeah. Go for it. This is so cool. Mm -hmm. And assuming they just haven't finished the bathroom, right? Right. But look at right down the closet floor. Wow. Oh boy. Uh oh. I'm gonna have to fix that. Preston dad doesn't like squeaks. And then we got the drain in for the shower. Oh sick. Our shower is gonna feel so luxurious. Water. Preston, what'd you think? Yeah? You liked it? I know. Crazy, right? Totally. Guys, our baby's balding. He came out with a full head of hair and now. Look at this little guy. This little evil genius. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my god. He has no hair. <laughs> Alright guys, it's Christmas Eve. You've already seen Christmas morning because we did it early for Preston as mentioned. Because we had a tree out east and we don't have one here. But we having a little Christmas Eve dinner with Hannah's sister, Vanessa, who hasn't met Preston yet, so we're excited for that. And also Hannah's mom, who you've seen, Sherry, who is a legend. And our friend Bryce, because he's in the city without his family this Christmas. 
and Bryce is an amazing chef. So we're gonna cook together, do it up, and uh, enjoy a meal. And celebrate the holidays with some family. I haven't seen my family since the summer, and everyone in Canada from my family, which is, uh, you know, three, four, five people, um, tight, and then obviously cousins, aunts, uncles, everything. No one's met the little guy. It's a little, a little teary around the holiday, you know? Wish, uh, I wish my parents and my sister and her husband and my niece could be with us. Um, strange holiday, but strange for everyone. And we're all just blessed to be in good health, obviously, and have a new child in our lives. So anyway, we're gonna roll into this side of the family uh, for this one. And uh, I'm gonna try and document a bit of it, but I may forget because I'm gonna try and be in the moment too. We'll see. You guys gave Sherry so much love on the last YouTube um, in the 30 day countdown and she was just on cloud nine. So gonna give her some more light and we'll probably hear some more great stories. We're gonna go from there. You guys really did the thing, huh? Mm -hmm. Hi. Wanna take him out of there? If he wants to come hang out, oh, you wanna come hang yeah, out Yeah, he with definitely me? does. There it is. <gasps> Hello, little one. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's your new babysitter. Oh, ho, ho. There you go. Get acquainted. I get, I get, I get into free babysitting <laughs> just so quickly. Family for the win. Preston, do you want to greet Ama Peach at the elevator? Say yes, I do, Dad. With Mom. Hmm. We're all going to greet Ama Peach. Like a little family we are. See when his mouth starts going crooked? That's why I knew he would. I know. Starts getting that. It's the crooked face. Give me the boob. <laughs> it's a family. Hi. Hi. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Christmas. I know. How are you, sweetie? Good, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Did you just call? Mm. Yeah, yeah she was just calling. Oh, okay. I, did, I was We wanted Preston's about cab. to feed, but he wanted to say hi. Hi. How are you? Yeah, you're not crying now. Oh, look what I got for you. Oh, boy. Oh. Fussy, well, I think we should this give it to This used you. to belong to Mama Hannah. No, it didn't. Oh my gosh, really? I've this never your... even seen it. Well, well you I did. I mean, I don't remember. But... <laughs> yeah. Preston, look. Who's this? And he's like, I don't know, he's scary. And they keep me with all of the black that Whoa. you've been... Is that a Black Panther? No, it's I don't rat. know. It's a, it's a rat? I guess. It's a rat? It was, it's a New York City rat. It was Hannah's. <laughs> Okay, okay, I'm gonna feed you. Hello, I'm feed you. hello. I'm gonna feed Aww, you right you. now. Okay, Two more for the collection, but originals. Okay, so here, let me This is so cute. Yeah. Go with my original quilt. All right, guys. You relax, all right? And, and, and that Babes, come look, my mom only brought this one bag for herself. She, we have more things for pressing in this like Santa sack. Wow. And that's the only bag my mom packed for herself. No. Yes. Besides yeah. her fanny packs. But is this a bag you no, brought? No, no. This is just the, the bag, bag that, that I that put was that in. And my umbrellas in here. Oh yeah. But look, she just books. all she has is her fanny packs. And some, these, books, these some books of Hannah's books from your room. No oh, way. Cute. Yeah. All right, we did it. Christmas Eve. I'm exhausted. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. No. Merry Christmas. Look at this outfit. Preston. Come on. The Canadian mocks, though? You look too cute. Okay, see you guys later. <laughs> A Christmas miracle. That's right. Look at this little guy and his reindeer too. For those of you that don't know, a toque is a beanie, but it's a Canadian way of saying it, so he'll be calling it a toque. All right, I'll make you a copy. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. Yeah. Preston, look at you, you're looking. Yeah, he is looking. All right, time for some breakfast. While well, this guy sleeps, right, sir? You just have a sleepy morning, Christmas morning. What are we gonna have? Smoked salmon and eggs. Yum. 
Yummy. Yummy. Nice to catch up. The Follis fam in Canada. Follises love Christmas. It's definitely tough to not be there with them this year. You know, it's one thing if you choose to not be there if I'm spending it with Hannah and her family or we're doing something else. Last year we went to Australia if you've been following along in Japan. But it's another thing when you can't go and you don't have the choice. Definitely a different feeling. Pretty sad. But we love them. Thank goodness for FaceTime. And you can connect with everyone. And anyway, if you guys are watching, love you. Miss you. Next year we'll be there. Yeah, I'll send it to All right, Hannah cut her finger right with a bread knife. Currently trying to find someone to come to the house. Give stitches so we don't have to go to a hospital because COVID, as we know. And now we gotta take a picture of the cut. I'm gonna get another band-aid first. Okay. But it's right on the inside of her knuckle. And, oh, tough to heal and deep. Emergency kits. Okay, we'll put it back on. I feel like they didn't show how deep it was. This is pretty. Okay. I don't think you want to open up again. Ugh. You okay? I hate blood. Remarkable daddy didn't pass out when you were being born. <laughs> Literally. I just don't know how this is gonna heal or like how long it's gonna take. And I just have a newborn, so I'm just trying to figure out. Uh, I think you need stitches. Oh, you oh. do think I need stitches? Yeah. yeah okay. For sure. Okay. No, I, 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 I don't think you need. I don't think you need anything beyond that. Is what I would say. Okay. Okay. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Amazing. Thank you right. so so Sounds much, good. Will. No problem. No problem. Okay. All right, bye. Okay. Bye. Wow. Called in a favor and we're getting stitches. Wow. Okay, so I'm- Okay, Dirty Diaper Man, I'm gonna change you. Yeah, and I'm gonna, I'm, I feel like we should prep a bottle for him because yeah. I don't know what's gonna- Bottle, happen. change bag. Hopefully he'll fall asleep in the car. Yeah. Let's get going. It's gonna take half an hour to get ready. Okay. All right, sir. Time to go to the change table. Okay, another change. Half an hour turnaround. Really quick. That was great. These parents turn it around fast to get these stitches. All right, good luck. Thanks, babe. First stitches ever. I'm scared. Wish I could come with you. Me too. What is this? Champagne, both. Okay. A tip. Okay, love you. Love you. Be back soon. Okay. How are we feeling? I'm all better. Wow. In and out in 20 minutes, four stitches Yay. in this one, and then a little skin glue on this one. Can you come give me a kiss? Yeah. I'm so happy about that. Mm. <clears throat> um, Preston and was he, a great boy. And he, he was, and he um, numbed me. Great. So I didn't even, hey Max. <clears throat> My wife is all right. Like I said, I'm happy the first Injury as a family of three was not you, Preston. Mm -hmm. It was mom. Yep. Not that I'm happy, but you know what I'm saying. I mean, I'm so glad that that was as minor as it was. I agree. He said it should be totally fine, though. Really? Yeah, that I can take this gauze thing off tomorrow. Oh, great. The good news is, is that there is there's no, um, what is it? No tendon yeah. damage and yeah, muscle or tendon. And nerve. Mm -hmm. I'm really quite upset with myself, but I'm also very relieved that it wasn't worse, but I could even cry thinking about it. Don't cry. I know, I just feel bad because I was holding pressed and I knew I should have just like slowed down and like, I'm glad everything's okay, but like, it's okay. that was scary. I didn't like that I was holding him and like, I... It's a good reminder to slow down and nothing serious happened. I know. And look, you're still shining, 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 <laughs> shining, shining. But people, don't hold bread in your hand and cut downwards with the knife Especially while the holding a newborn. <laughs> Guess what? Not your best work. No. All right, feed that boy. Okay, I'm just trying to And then to we got to do a little vlog about these. I know. Can you get it in my pocket? How about this one? Oh. These are a breastfeeding hack, which I feel like the people need to know about. Called, I'm super into it. It's called The Curve by Elvie, and it's amazing. A lot of people use what, what, what 
A lot of people use something called a haka, which is like a silicone thing that you put on your boob. It's the gets, OG device. Yeah, that gets the runoff, but it always like spills. It like baby when, can kick it off. Baby kicks it off when it gets heavy. It drops. Doesn't like, tuck into just, your bra. Doesn't tuck into the bra. So this basically, while you're feeding on said boob, this goes on other boob, pushes in, so suctions, and, and then, then it's just pulls it's on, the milk and up. you can like tuck it into your bra, and it. And it fills up, it doesn't fall off, it's amazing. And it's also enjoyable to do as a husband. Just feel like you're adding value to the situation, you know? <laughs> I like it. Get your LV on, people. All right, take this man to his feeding zone. Why don't you roll him that way so we put the stroller by the front? Okay. Doesn't need to be over here. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. Lastly, since you guys have been asking, a lot of you have been asking, What's up with all the art in this apartment? So we're staying at our friend's apartment while well, ours is under construction in the city, as you know, if you follow the updates, which you should. Um, and her name is Jess Lichtenstein, and she does incredible art using what she calls nymphs and silhouettes of them. So this looks like a forest scape, but as you get closer, you can see all the layers that go into it, but they're all little, little nymphs tucked away in the trees. They go together to make the light spots, the dark. This is an unreleased new version of something that's coming, I believe. This is kind of the second iteration of what she'd done on foil with um, all the nymphs making tree branches, circular square. This is some of her original work, which says yum. This is before the silver work, again, circular tree with everyone, as you can see, is all of the nymphs making it up purple version here and then that's an old original version I think before she even did those tree versions just more in the anime and it's pretty cool and then she has a lot of other art she collects around um, but I'm gonna leave a link to her stuff down here but my favorite thing she's done is twall so I don't know if you know twall but twall is basically like your grandmother's old couch or some classy something or other People don't use it a lot anymore, but it was a big thing, obviously, and Twal had like little patterns and stories on it, but she made Dirty Twal. I forget what she calls it. She might be mad they call it Dirty Twal, but it is Dirty Twal, so once you get up close, telling a different story than your grandmother's Twal, but from afar, no one would know. That to me is really cool. And just different, creative, thoughtful. So hope that answers your questions of where we're staying and what's up with all this really cool art on the wall. That's hers. Again, leaving it down here. Check her out and follow her on the gram for sure. See what she's up to. She's got something new coming very soon. All right, guys, I think that's gonna wrap up this vlog. We're gonna uh, take it easy, call it a night, and then uh, head back out east tomorrow for, I don't know, the unforeseen future. My sister asked me today, what's your next physical commitment? I don't know. You tell me. I don't have one, but you know where I will be is right here with you guys. The whole fam will. We love this. Thanks for encouraging us to keep going. We'll see you soon.